Well, buying or selling a home can be complicated enough. It's a different world in business where confidentiality might be essential. The firm is the most dynamic business brokerage in the Midwest, specializing in buying and selling small to medium-sized businesses. As president of the firm, Courtney Sells has closed a lot of deals in her <laughs> hey, time. Courtney. Is that right, Courtney? Well, nice thank you. Yeah, good yes, good in fact, uh, we just had our 21st deal on Monday. Nice. For the year. So Fantastic. very good. For the year. So moving quite along. Yeah. Uh, and I imagine there's a lot of reasons why people sell their business. Mm -hmm. all sorts of reasons but uh, I guess what's the main reason and then how do you actually value those businesses sure absolutely so people come in for all sorts of reasons and I will tell you that that the majority of reason is really an exit strategy plan so you're 60 65 70 and maybe your son or daughter doesn't want to take over your your practice or your business so they'll come into us and get a, a business valuation we tend to call that done so there's four D's one of which is done the second is, uh, unfortunately, there may have been a, a death in the family or there's disease. Somebody's fallen ill and maybe wife can't take over the business uh, or the widow or widower, and so they come to us. So it's a very, uh, a very emotional time for them. Or there was uh, you know, maybe a, a divorce in the family, and mm -hmm. so amicably they don't want to work together anymore, and not to kind of make this interview go negative all of a right. sudden, but it happens. Uh, it does. So the Ds are, are the majority of reasons why people come in, but I'll tell you it's very neat that when somebody comes and they've been in business for 20, 30, 40 years, it's like uh, passing on a baby. So like I say, our, we have a lot of Kleenexes in our office and I feel like I need a, a tip jar, you know, a, a license to right. practice therapy. No, it can be tough for a lot of yeah. people, yeah. How do you value the businesses though? Because when, if we use the analogy of a house, you're pulling sure. comps in the market. Okay, well, a four bedroom, three bath in sure. the same neighborhood. But not all businesses are the same. Right. So how do you value yes. them? Yes, so businesses are not black and white. Oftentimes real estate can be black and white. And we do not do real estate at all. So we primarily do mergers and acquisitions of the business. And so it's our job to find cash flow. And what that means is we take the gross sales and we find what are the expenses of this business. Mm -hmm. And then so what's left for the owner after the taxes are paid and the bills are paid and the employees. And we take that number and we apply a multiplier. So let's say that you profited $100,000 and then we're gonna times it by three. That's kind of an industry standard. Mm -hmm. So that business would be worth $300,000. Gotcha. So what's the process? Somebody, somebody might be interested in mm -hmm. purchasing a business sure. so or, what's selling. A pro or, or selling, but mm -hmm. what's the process that they go into sure. uh, when, you, when, you buy, when you're buying or selling? Well, everything that we do is very confidential. So oftentimes people look at the signs uh, for homes and so residential real estate agents mm -hmm. get to put their sign out front <laughs> and yeah. you know, there's billboards right. when it's commercial real estate. And so business brokering is much different mm -hmm. because there is no sign that we want to put in the front yard. And that's because you don't want to affect the, the, the sales. The mm -hmm. sales, the customer the flow. We don't want to get the employees nervous. Yeah. Uh, so on the sell side, we have to keep things very, very confidential. Mm -hmm. But also on the buy side of things, a lot of our buyers are corporate America guys that maybe are sick of punching the clock eight to five and they mm -hmm. want that American dream of owning their own business. Mm -hmm. yeah. So they don't want their boss to know. Uh, so we have to be very confidential on the buy side of things as well. Mm -hmm. So the process is, is coming in, shaking your hand, having a cup of coffee with our team. One thing that makes us a little different than our, our competitors is that we work as uh, all W-2 team type settings, whereas a lot of brokers are kind of 1099, all housed under one umbrella. We have an in-house marketing director, uh, Cassandra Powers. We have public relations, Adam Jamie. Mm -hmm. We uh, just brought on an in-house uh, attorney, Kevin Kasten. So we have a, a, a nice team. Mm -hmm. You're not just going to be shoved into one broker. You're, you're going to really be able to be educated by all of us. Any, I know confidentiality you said is so important, but can you share any recent transactions? Sure, with us? absolutely. You know, the, the clients that do want us to promote them, we can certainly write press releases and talk about them. Mm -hmm. we, uh, we sold two urgent cares recently uh, to a lovely woman, Michelle Mertz. Uh, she was in pharmaceutical sales for her entire career. She had four kids and decided to stay at home. And now that her kids are back in school, she said, you know, I'm ready to go back into the workforce. So about a month ago, she bought two urgent cares, and I just ran into her at the bank. Couldn't be, I mean, literally <laughs> tears streaming down her cashing face. Cashing checks at yes, the bank. Right, <laughs> right, that's what we hope. Uh, you know, we just, we've sold everything from, you know, a neighborhood deli 
to these urgent cares, to a plumbing company, mm -hmm. and I am telling you, everything in between. No business is too small, mm -hmm. and we do up to $5 million. Why should people consider uh, purchasing an existing business? I know that when you start a business on your own, you start from scratch. Sure. It may take several years to grow it to the sure. point where it's successful. So I imagine that buying something already existing is appealing for a lot of people. Oh, absolutely. There's a number of reasons. One uh, would be lending. So a bank is, is much more apt to lend on a business that's in place. It has the cash flow there. Mm -hmm. Customers are coming in, employees are there, there's mm -hmm. process and procedure set up. It's a proven system. So a bank is going to be much more apt to lend you the loan to, to buy a business as opposed to doing a startup. One out of every three startups fail, mm -hmm. which is kind of a scary statistic. So when people come to us, one thing that they can be sure of is the longevity of a company. Mm -hmm. The process and procedure is in place. And I really think that that's what makes us so different um, than starting up your own business where you're, you're starting from writing a handbook and doing a budget. When you come to us, you get to see the tax returns and the financials mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. how does this company actually work. You can make right. an educated decision instead of just hoping. Absolutely. <laughs> like fingers, it, well, I hope it works. <laughs> right. <laughs> Our, the first step, to, right, is sort of the consultation. Sure, right? absolutely. Mm -hmm. Evaluation. I want to show our viewers some information about how to get a hold of you. That'd be great. And while we look at this, sort of give us a word about that, what they can expect in that initial meeting. Sure, absolutely. So if you are coming in as a seller, we do complimentary, confidential mm -hmm. business valuations. Uh, this will be back to you in three business days. We not only do an in-house valuation with our analysts, but then we take it to our lending partner mm -hmm. and the banker will give you a valuation as well. You'll be able to then decide with your CPA and your attorney. We work very closely with your professionals. Is this the right time for you to sell? If you're on the buy side of things and you want to be uh, a business owner and, and have that American dream, we'll come right on in and uh, what we do is turnkey. So when you sit down with us, we not only introduce you to the bank, we introduce you to your insurance man, your credit card processor, literally from front to back. We're a one-stop shop that's going to help you get into that ownership. What's the typical, I guess, what's the average time frame from the time you walk into your office to the time you walk out with the keys to a new business? No more than 90 days. Wow. So that is really from the sell side of things. If you come in and you would like to retire, move to Florida, spend more time with your grandkids, <laughs> right. uh -huh. it's about 90 days. If you're looking to buy a business, it'd be more like 45. Yeah. The firm okay. businessbrokerage.com is the website and the number to schedule that consultation Courtney described. It's 998-5288. They're also on Twitter and Facebook if you'd like to connect via social media. Thanks, Courtney, for coming in. Thanks for coming in. I'm the glad you stopped by because I was always curious about how yeah. people come to acquire these businesses. Sure. You, you never know that they're up for sale until now we know how it works. after the fact. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much for Thanks having for me. Appreciate it. All right. As a guy, I love sports memorabilia. I, you do too, don't yeah, you? I do. Your husband likes yep. it. Well, when you're shopping around for pieces, how do you know what they're really worth. The answer to that, and we'll look at some unique pieces from Saul's when we bling it on after the break.